I don't think anybody can say one thing bad about Derek. You know, he's, he's, he's a complete champion. He's an idol for me, you know, in terms of how he's well respected in the game from not just his teammates, but his opponents. And he carries himself like, like every professional baseball player, a professional athlete should be. You know, he's a very classy guy. Uh, very straightforward, very friendly. I met Derek before. He's the Derek Jeter you know, and uh, with a hundred other players at rookie career development. And um, he was the most inquisitive, the most interested in the game. He knew the history, and um, he just wanted to be all he could be. And I can look now, 20 years later, he's achieved everything and more that he ever envisioned. Um, I can say this. The Yankees were blessed to have drafted him for him to play for this team, and he was equally as blessed to play here. No, when I think of Derek, Derek's a true professional. He's a professional in the sense that uh, he's out there on the field, he competes, um, and as Michael said, he is well-respected all across the league for good reason. He plays the game the right way, handles himself beautifully, and off the field, he's a true professional. And it still amazes me that many times through all the ups and downs of one's career and through the good times and the bad times that in this market, you know, um, which is very difficult from a media standpoint. Derek always says the right thing, always um, handles himself marvelously through all of those things. And I think ultimately that's an indication of um, who he is from his parents and also who he is as a person. And uh, um, I respect that a lot. Well, pressure situations usually uh, determine who has put forth the effort. And it's very obvious that he's put forth the effort in the right way because he's always responded the right way and under pressure. And you gotta give a credit to him and to his parents and obviously his, his managers, all the people that taught him to do the right thing. Uh, and then he gets into the, you know, the work, workout area and work at it uh, to, to a point when he gets put in those situations, he responds with the practice that he's put into it. It is hard to measure and define all the magic that Derek brings to the table. But there is a presence in the middle of the lineup, and there's a presence when he's at the plate and in the field. And no one person in baseball can uh, drive you to a world championship. It takes a uh, good team, and he's been blessed to be part of a good team. But he has played a huge role in the success of the, uh, of the Yankees in the postseason and has pushed them, once they get to the postseason, to be champions. And so he's a champion all the way around. You're going to see the end of an era where um, a guy who just – played at the top of his game for a long time for a winning organization and came through when it counted, you won't see it again in this generation. You just won't. There aren't that many opportunities, and he, he just fit right in. You're, you're looking at something special. It's the end of an era. Most guys finish their career by <laughs> if you're lucky, and uh, he's been able to uh, – do it with an organization such as the Yankees and with a lot of respect and dignity and walk out the door probably feeling like he's on a, on a, on a ski slope with momentum going up. So, you're, like I said, you're looking at the end of an era.